Oh, uh oh, he's coming out. Do not jump out of the top, please. Do not jump out. All right, so I have a feeling we need to turn the lights off. All right, Corona, are you ready to have some? That's when Corona goes ham. All right. Warning, this video contains graphic content, so if you love little minnows or you love little fishies and you don't want to see them getting eaten by a baby bass, turn away. A little bit hard to hear me because I'm wearing this mask. But we are here at the pet store and we picked up some special treats for Corona. Stay tuned because Corona is going to devour these things. Perfect, now you can hear me without a mask. As many of you may know, we do have a baby largemouth bass at home named Corona that we acquired in the beginning of the pandemic. We have to fish for baby minnows several times per week just to satisfy Corona. But this time we went to the fish store and we picked up rosy reds to give Corona as an offering, a world-class buffet offering. Let's get to it, because I'm sure after I post this on TikTok, everyone's gonna wanna see this vlog. All right, guys, so we are live. We are back home. Corona is out. Corona is very hungry. And we currently have all these rosy reds acclimating. Well, not yet. I have to put the air hose in. Did you just wake up? Okay, now we are acclimating. Now we are woke. Woke. Stay woke. And you, my dear, are about to have the best feast that you've had in a while. That belly is usually pretty full. That belly looks like it's in the need, in the need to feed. You are getting big, oh so big and so beautiful, my baby, baby largemouth bass. Almost becoming a teenager. Make sure you check out the whole playlist we have on this bass because we have many other videos. From when we caught it, to the adventures of raising it, to the endeavors of feeding it, all the above. And just a little fun fact, if you have seen any of our other videos with this largemouth bass and or feeding it or catching the food for it, you will know this for a fact. And the fact is, this is the first time that this largemouth bass has ever had anything else to eat other than mosquito fish minnows, wild caught mosquito fish minnows. Rosy reds are fully acclimated. Hose. All right, Corona, are you ready to have some rosy reds? You're gonna have an amazing snack sesh right before, we're supposed to get this hurricane this weekend, so we'll see about that. Calm down, Corona, do not jump out of the top, please. Do not jump out. All right, I think we're gonna do these several by several and whatever that means, but. All right. Go ahead. Also making a TikTok on this. Apparently our 160,000 followers on TikTok love this baby bass, so, so do we. But how long will it take Corona to eat one of these rosy red minnows? Because when Corona actually and finally eats, it's crazy. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel for this full vlog coming up we'll go ahead and scoop out some more sorry i was just finishing my TikTok there so now i can be less dramatic no wait just wait wait hold on wait 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 just kidding set him free beautiful this tank is full of rosy reds now we just got to see somebody eat corona is still hiding get out of there under the log worthless and in most cases we have to switch the light off so corona actually goes into feeding frenzy mode because whenever we switch off that light that's when corona goes ham okay so not that many left here's another two so in total there was about 20 of these rosy reds be kind of free the last scoop all right so i have a feeling that we need to turn the lights off feeding time Frenzy, this is when he comes out. <gasps> uh oh, he's coming out. Oh, he's talking, saying I'm gonna go ham. Oh, this is crazy. Corona goes nuts with the lights off. It's just how soon will he start the frenzy? There's that nice size one right behind him. Turn around. Oh, he turned around. Oh, he got it. Crazy. Corona goes nuts with the lights off. That is insane. Eat up, eat up. Bam! 
Now, I wonder if Corona is going to be able to finish all of these or how many Corona will actually be able to fit inside of its belly until we're going to start to see that belly protrude a little bit. How many do you think? Drop a comment below. Oh, oh, oh you can already see some minnows shining through the belly of Corona, the baby bass. Check that out. And I think so far that was what, three minnows already? And it's already sticking out that much. That is crazy. But if you've ever gone fishing and you've ever caught a bass or seen an adult bass, you've seen how big those hogs' bellies can be for real. Which is why we're always on the hunt for more minnows because this bass, amongst all other basses, will not stop eating on the, oh, oh my goodness, on the daily. And if you've seen our other videos, you know we are on the mission to try to get this bass to eat frozen food so it's a lot easier to feed it on the regular. So we made the choice with the rosy reds over goldfish because goldfish aren't always the healthiest food for your pets or if you're going to use them as feeders. But that's only if you do them all the time. What? Only if you do them all the time. They have a certain enzyme in them. What? And back to that enzyme, well, it's just, that's just not that great for your pet. Seems like, could Corona actually be full? I thought it was a myth. They've always said Corona has an endless appetite. But, but, but the legend, could it, could it be true? I wonder if these are a little bit more filling than the mosquito fish because the size of them is extremely comparable. It's basically the size of a small female. So what is going on? What's going on? Granted, we had 20 in here. So if you've eaten 10, oh, oh, he's going for more. Let's we'll scoop back, let's we'll scoop back a little. <gasps> Oh, I spoke so soon. I spoke too soon. I definitely think Corona is going to devour the rest of these minnows. Oh, they're going crazy too. Oh no, there's a minnow away from the school. Get back to the school, minnow. You can actually see the size of Corona's belly filling in compared to what it was in the beginning of the video. That's about 12 rosy red minnows in there. And just like buying crickets, sometimes you get the bonus and the employee that likes to throw in a few extra. So we went and tried to purchase 15 of these rosy reds, but they wound up giving us uh, just a little over 20. But that's entirely okay, because I think this beast can handle it. Also, I forgot to mention, if it's your first time here, welcome to A1A Adventures. And if you want to become an A1A family member, you go ahead and just subscribe to this channel. Comment below and always stay tuned for our newest videos. And by doing that, it's very important to make sure to hit that notification bell button. So whenever we post a new video and you could see Corona eat in case we feed them new things, you will get notified. And you'll have dibs by seeing the video first and be able to comment early on our videos. And like I said earlier, if you haven't checked out our playlist on this bass, make sure to do so, because we have many videos since we caught this bass, and it was as big as one of these rosy reds when we first got it. Join us on the journey and check out that playlist. This video will be included in that playlist and many more. You don't want to miss it. Oh, they're all schooling like in front of them. Up, oh, will he go for it? Oh, they scattered. It's right in front of your face. All you got to do is open your mouth and suck it in. got that one. Oh, nope. Got that one though. Oh, the minnows are challenging the bass. Wait, what? Look at the belly. Those are all fish. Oh, and he's still trying to chase him down. Lugging all that weight in the belly. Yeah. 
Corona definitely looks a little more inflated at this point of the video as opposed to the beginning of this video. Just pacing around the tank, not knowing what to do. Because I think that little squat. What? Did you just see that? Corona just threw up. It regurged two minnows and they were still alive. They completely swam in opposite directions and now Corona is sitting there awaiting its next victim. Squad of minnows is just, ooh, just fast enough for it to disperse and Corona can keep darting, but still only get so much food. And I mean, it's hard because as you can see, I don't want Corona to overeat. It's already starting to barely fit the minnows it's eating in its belly. Booyah! So make sure to drop a comment below on any other food suggestions you think we should add to our future videos feeding Corona. What else should we feed our baby largemouth bass? For food, live food, frozen food, comment below. Booyah! And we've tried crickets and several kind of worms, super worms and other kind of grub and bugs while Corona was a little younger, but maybe we should try it again now that Corona's getting bigger. Oh, almost. Did you get that one? And we still got a lot more minnows to go. Make sure you don't miss any of our future videos or any other content that we have to post about this baby largemouth bass. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, A1A fam, stay adventurous, stay safe out there, be nice to your neighbor, and be kind to somebody. And as always, A1A Adventure.